Elizabeth Edwards is now speaking out for the first time since she separated from her husband of 32 years. In an interview with People Magazine, she and her daughter Kate talked candidly about John Edwards' affair, Elizabeth's advancing cancer, and where their family goes from here, and Bob Woodruff has the story. It has been a very public and painful crisis for Elizabeth Edwards and her family, which is why she and her children have kept their emotions and details mostly private until now. She says her cancer is gradually getting worse, and then sometimes it gets better. Last spring, doctors found a new tumor in Elizabeth's hip, discovered just as Riel Hunter was defending herself to Oprah Winfrey. I believe the problems exist before a third party comes into the picture. Elizabeth's hope is that she will live long enough to see her three children graduate from school and hopefully have a grandchild. Eight years, that's all I ask for, she says. I want to walk them to the door of the next part of their lives. She says her husband is a different man now. Almost two years ago, he admitted that too. I became, at least on the outside, something different than that young boy who grew up in a small town in North Carolina. So when I closed the door on the John of today, Elizabeth wrote, I also had to say goodbye to that sweet man whom I had loved for so long. It was not easy as it might have seemed to anyone looking in from the outside who knew only the John of today. And I have to wonder if he is sad too when he thinks of that young man. For the first time, her 28-year-old daughter Kate wrote an essay about what her mother gave her during this pain. In short, she taught me the meaning of grace. For Good Morning America, I'm Bob Woodruff, ABC News. And we are joined now by the author of the article, People Magazine's Washington correspondent, Sandra Soberai Westfall. Sandra, thanks so much for coming in. It's clear that Elizabeth Edwards is, is, is a woman struggling with contradictions. I mean, the anger with John Edwards, very palpable, but you also see a woman struggling to keep her family together. They're even all gonna take a trip, John, Elizabeth, and the kids to Japan. She's, she's wanted to show the children where she grew up um, as a Navy brat. And um, so for a long time, she's had this trip planned with her new chemo. She gets very winded and very tired easily. So she's bringing John along to help with the kids, but also share this family experience. She, of course, makes the point the sleeping arrangements will be different. Yeah, and she even talked even talked to her about in the article the fact that John Edwards may be now outdating in North Carolina bars. She's seen the tabloid reports she pointedly didn't dispute them and then she says fairly nonplussed that you know he's made new friends and i need to give him the space to do that he will be a healthier happier person if he finds people that that don't have the disappointment in him that that she has and that disappointment is again so palpable one of the things where she she kind of draws the line you ask her about riel hunter and whether john and riel are still together well she says john tells her under no circumstances, absolutely not. But then she pauses and she says, recognizing that she's the last person to know the truth of these things and that she's very wary of being fooled again. And Kate Edwards, in some ways, very much her mother's daughter. On the, on the one hand, talking about outsiders who have savaged her family. I suppose she's talking about Riel Hunter there. Riel Hunter and Andrew Young. Andrew Young, the former aide. The former to John aide Edwards. who wrote that tell all book. Yet she also says that uh, her relationship with her father, strong? She said that they've actually grown closer through this because they've had to work so hard to rebuild. And remember, John Edwards isn't doing anything else these days. He has no job. He's, he's really spending his time full time as a father. Um, so that's a lot of intense rebuilding. And she says they've actually grown closer. We talk about John Edwards as a father. One of the odd details, Elizabeth Edwards buys a piece of lavender soap for John's little boy girl Quinn to give to her mother, Riel Hunter. That's Elizabeth. She says it's just what one parent does for another, and you always make sure that the other parent has a Christmas present. So she went out and bought a gift for John to, to offer to Riel on Quinn's behalf. Why do you think she's speaking out now? She, well, she struggled for a long time to write this new chapter for the paper book edition of her book. She struggled with whether to rebut every lie that's been out there and every mischaracterization of her own person. Um, and then finally she was able to put the chapter together. It's being released, but she also would like to have sort of a, a, a cleansing period where, you know, now she feels like she's said her piece, she can move on and maybe reclaim some voice in public policy. And, and what comes through in the article is that she seems to be a woman at peace. 
She is. I've spoken with Elizabeth for years and, and on and off through this whole crisis over the past two or three years. And for the first time, this was a woman at peace. She was in a good place. Um, it, she had a bad scare with a new tumor in her hip earlier this year that was referenced in the piece. Um, radiation took care of that. She's feeling better, um, though her cancer is progressively getting worse. She's feeling better. She's looking forward to um, you know, some new adventures. Okay, fascinating article. Sandra Silberoy-Westfall, thanks very much. Thank you.